Hey, welcome to this tutorial. We are on um, Arch Merge and 607 iteration. And we just explained everything about the menu, the open box menu, how, how actually open menu generator works. But what if, what if we wanted to change a lot of things, um, meaning not using the OB menu generator, but using the standard one, because let's be honest, OB menu generator is a tweak. Standard you get in open box just an XML file and which is this one So what we're doing here is we're get, getting information from a menu OB menu generator It's better if I show it like this generate a pipe menu with just without icons maybe nicer to see Oops, sorry um, Was up this one? Oh my god, Eric, second failure. What are you doing? It's that one. So here you have this program, OB menu generator. The, so this is a pipe menu. This is making, uh, well, pipe menu. It's, it's a, a program that's gonna make an XML file, basically. And uh, you want it or you don't want it. So that's a standard from OpenBox, from Arch Merge. If you don't want that, let's put this one away. And then you say, okay, this is the original. Okay. And let's get this one in. Menu made yourself. Make it yourself. Like this one. And then you press super spacebar and you say, Eric, nothing changed. Sure. There are two ways to do it. You go to preferences, to open box and restart open box. But I hated to go into the menu, so I've made it a keyboard shortcut. Control, Shift, Backspace. Super spacebar. And what you see, OB menu generator is gone. This is the standard one, and I see I have to change the name because it's still the old one from Arch Labs, from R2D2. So, memory, note down that I have to change it and upload it again. So, anyway. We have here this file, and this file is an editable file. So if we have to change this, we can change it to anything we want. We can change to Arch Merge, to Nemesis, to Destroyer, to Navigator, to whatever. It's uh, just a label that you can uh, edit and change. So as you can see, everything has is begin somewhere and end somewhere. So we have to read a little bit about XML. And if you have done some HTML, you'll know that you have a beginning tag, an opening tag, and this is the closing tag. So if you're using, if you're gonna change it, best thing is probably just do it like this, and then make sure you're at the beginning, and then you have this nice indented way as well. And we have here label text editor, I'm gonna label it Eric so you can see it quite clearly. And I don't know, Sublime, is it Subla? Let's have a look. Subla 3 it is called, that's the program. So I'm gonna make a new menu with label Eric. I'm gonna execute it and it's gonna execute Subla 3, which is Sublime Text. Save. If I press now, you see, there it is. No Eric to be seen, so I'm gonna press Ctrl Shift Backspace, try it again, and I say, Oh, there is Eric. So I have to reload. So if you don't remember the shortcut uh, later, there is also, oh, where am I going to? There is also the open box here, and then reconfigure. Okay, so that's up to you to decide what. Uh, what to have, what to delete. So if you don't, don't want something, you just delete it again. Make sure everything is nice and easily aligned, nice and, and beautifully aligned, and save. Because if you miss something here, let's do an error. If you do something like this, then, then things might go wrong. Uh, I don't know if I miss now something, but it's quite possibly that I screwed it up, but I don't think so, that it's not not gonna bother with that 
but I had issues with it in the past so if you get something if you type something if you really kind of forget stuff like this does he react then right let's first reload uh -huh. oh yeah this is quite clear for you guys this is my menu now so yeah I did delete a few parts here and it's stopping at text editor so I know it all went well till here and then it was screwed so it's here somewhere that I have to look and indeed so that's that Control Z, zoop, save. Control Shift Backspace, super. That's the normal thing. And we're back at Arch Labs. So anything that you do not want to have, you can just delete the line and say, I'm never going to use Peak, I'm never going to use Inkscape, I'm never going to use Keep. You can make it much, much, much smaller. So it's up to you to decide what you want in here. It's manual, so installing stuff, it's not in there. Uninstalling stuff, it's not in there. So you have to figure it out yourself and uh, make it nicer. All right, that was it for um, a manual menu. If you would like to have a manual menu, you can do so. You have to change the original one and change this one and uh, into the main menu.xml. And there you go, you have your own menu. Cheers.